Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, in this video today I'll show how I was, uh, where I was putting my collection all this time and why I haven't been making videos in the past, past uh, five months. So uh, yeah, let's begin. So with a nice flash of light we have a little poster, a little bed. Uh, all this is packing stuff for the manga. Um, a few kitties and push-ins and some manga. Uh, this is a piano, you'll see a new version of it and uh, hopefully it will see some use. Uh, these are three boxes you've seen, uh, I believe, all three of them in the last two Sustain the Industry videos, or Shape the Collection videos, yeah, Shape the Collection videos. And, uh, yeah, this is the iconic Tweety hat, which you'll see hopefully more as well. So, in the, for, in the first uh, closet, uh, it used to be only for, uh, like, clothes and other miscellaneous stuff. Now it has a, a very dedicated shelf for manga, uh, one for anime there and another for the box set. Here you can see a little costume teaser for an upcoming video. Um, so yeah, here you have, I have all, almost all the City Hunter 3-in-1s, one of my most viewed videos so far. On my channel that relate to manga pretty sure it's the one with the most views because of the nice thumbnail of the panorama uh, spine art so yeah we have two one piece box sets a rosario vampire season one and two box set of the manga behind it there's a box set of claymore and uh, yeah, uh, all of the packing stuff you saw here, it used to be here, but uh, I don't need it anymore. This was fully packed, like, like nothing could fit in there anymore. Uh, here in the shelf uh, behind the socks box, we have lots of Blu-rays and some exclusive Attack on Titan. DVDs, I think. Not sure. Haven't watched them. Don't care. Uh, next is Akira, the 35th anniversary. Literally nowhere to put it, so I just moved some clothes around and made some space for it. So yeah, next shelf. Uh, nice 3D puzzle up there. And uh, this is this used to be a purely bookshelf that my whole family used. And I forced them to move everything, so it's all manga now. Yeah. Uh, so some art books, some bigger volumes, very big volumes. Very nice shelf. Uh, this is a meme manga. Not only is this the Messiah manga, it's also in Hebrew. Probably the only Hebrew manga in existence. And it doesn't even mention the author or artist because it's a religious kind of book. So they don't give credit to anyone, at least in this publication, which is pretty funny. Uh, next, we have uh, this shelf for all the this big Inuyasha volumes. I'm missing one from this shelf because this little space wasn't enough for the for the last one. So as you see, 1 through 15, and then 16 is missing, and I have 17, 18. Here I stuffed some volumes from the side, sticking out, because, again, no space. This is orange. This is a message to Adolf. Very nice books. Uh, next, uh, this shelf. Again, this area is full because I don't have enough uh, 7 C's volumes, which are a bit... A bit shorter uh, that's why how I fit most of uh, like the shelf and the one at the bottom you can see um, longer volumes and then shorter volumes 
that's the only way to pack it here so uh, yeah and I had no more for this shelf so I just stuffed this fully coolie Astro Boy and uh, Blue Heaven behind these I actually am uh, covering a very precious art book by Takeshi Obata I'll, sh I'll show it in the future so yeah next shelf as you can see longer volumes here on top this is the 16th Vizbeg some random Dragon Ball volumes probably will sell them uh, the Jojo volume, the Araki thingy lots of nice stuff on this shelf and a cute Poro uh, next just uh, another regular shelf couldn't fit any more volumes in here uh, horizontally so I just defaulted to this uh, the volume here of cap card capture is missing because it wasn't my bed as I showed or earlier and uh, these are Mickey Falls by Mark Riley probably the first manga I had but uh, whatever and some more this is not a collection video I'll make sure to sh show everything later um, uh, some dishes and okay this is the main the main shelf okay the main bookshelf okay so this was modified to fit manga this had no books nothing relating to manga in the past and now this behemoth is uh, full to the brim with manga okay so this is just the front layer these shelves are deep very deep so uh, if I remove some volumes just a moment that's a Naruto box set and it takes most of the space but there's more manga on top and here as well and behind this Evangelion volume some Negima volumes there is no space for anything okay next this is the this is a very high quality shelf like pretty much everything here is signature editions of Viz manga so Tokyo Ghoul and Re, Gangsta and uh, The Cursed volumes the little bit I have of 20th Century Boys, Ruby and some Golden Kamui but this is not everything because behind uh, some American comics this is wayward and monstrous uh, they were recommended to me so I got them whatever so behind here I have some of the best manga you can have pretty much and this is all the Naoki Urasawa stuff I own on this shelf um, as you can see monster uh, here we have master Keaton all completed some Pluto volumes here and here behind this is a this is a meme right in the manga community or something I don't fucking know um, so yeah, behind this we have some Pluto, so this is pretty much the Naoki Rosawa shelf with a ton of uh, signature editions, again, full to the brim, no no spaces to fill anything. Uh, okay, also, uh, you see these tiny holes, as well as these holes on the side here, and here. It used to have doors. I removed the doors because it's aesthetically more pleasing, like door covered like this side and one door this side. So this is one modification I made. Next is the, the biggest and fullest shelf I have. As you can see, like four stories of manga. Again, this is a deep, deep shelf. So uh, if I remove some stuff you can see there's some 
some more manga and this is effective behind every every part of this shelf oh this is going to be bad so we have more and there's another layer behind which I'm not going to bother with no actually I am yeah so this is full this had no doors but it had um, like another shelf but the height was uh, really bad so uh, I removed it and uh, it allowed me to fit this much oh oh man okay next is this part of the shelf which was also modified but differently um, I'm not sure if it's not deep enough or what I just wanted a nice aesthetic when I built it I didn't have the manga the too much of a storage space problem at the time so the doors that were here like one here one here um they're here i just moved them enough to make manga stick out pretty much to the end because it looks very nice so this is only one deep uh which you could consider a mistake because now I can't use the space behind. Uh, but I did not think about it at the time, which is kind of a mistake. Um, in general, just buy shelves that fit stuff in your room and don't make this crazy setup because... The only reason I made the, the all the space is because I had a ton of stuff I didn't need and I wanted manga, more manga, so I had to throw or move stuff and that allowed me to make this crazy beast that I'm a little proud of but not too much. I Very hard to access like the manga right there behind in the first shelf you need to take out a lot okay let's move to the table so you know, I have my computer and uh, all the stuff I just removed and this shelf is uh, pretty interesting so here I have uh, the first manga I actually bought which was the, these five volumes I swapped these two to the new signature um, symbol but uh, that's why they look a bit newer it's all dusty uh, when I move I'll clean everything up anyway so this is when I was a, a true a true weeaboo I bought posters and I made this whole table space um, a very very appropriate for uh, for a little weeaboo as I used to be uh, so some nice plushies nice other figurines I think this is part four Jojo stuff no idea haven't seen haven't read dislike please um, yeah so I, I usually put some stuff on these because they act as a shelf themselves so uh, yeah this setup is nice uh, lots of papers as you can see some the drawings and drawing tools um, as you can see this curve I achieved it by making a very interesting thing this uh, one moment oh no did I just destroy everything probably and okay so this is a zero uh, like uh, a code gears thingy this is a gear symbol from uh, a mask and you'll see it in the future and this is some Legos ok 
Okay, I used some Legos to make the curve a little, sm a little bit smoother. I mean, so yeah, okay. Don't do this stuff. You see in the Nisekoi volumes, they all have, they are very, very yellow because they're exposed to the sun constantly. This is a terrible setup. I didn't know it. I actually don't care. Fuck Nisekoi. And, uh, yeah, good lesson. And uh, I chose the right manga to do it with. Nice experiment. So, if you move this light, we have the lower shelves. As you can see, they are packed as well, but there's a reason for it. They're actually deeper than manga volumes, and yet everything is pretty much like at the edges of. Uh, Um, like here, like what I did here from a, an aesthetic standpoint, like uh, they stick out almost uh, completely, almost flush with the wall. So uh, there's actually a trick. I'm not. I don't think uh, everyone can do this trick because I have a previous collection. Uh, yeah, As you can see. There are Rubik's cubes behind, and they are all pretty much uniform when it comes to size. I used to have a huge Rubik's cube collection, and this is behind everything. Like, uh, let's move some of this. Okay. So, if I take some of, some of these, as you can see, more, oh, that's actually a 2 by 3 by 3 very cool cube there. Anyway, uh, behind these light, uh, light novels, there are even more Rubik's Cubes, everything here is filled with Rubik's Cubes. Uh, I know if you, if you can get a piece of wood, maybe you can do it as well. Some Dayan Guhong type cubes, oh, whatever. So, yeah, this is the table setup. Uh, so a little bit of DIY. Uh, generally, a pretty good place. The bad thing, actually, if you recognize the. Uh, publishers of these they are either Japanese which means they are a little shorter or they are the English shorter titles which are Seven Seas and Dark Horse so I sadly couldn't fit uh, regular Viz volumes there okay next let's go let's go here so this box used to sit right here on the shelf that I removed. Uh, I moved it here, wasn't using it too much, and it's very accessible if I do need it. Uh, so, yeah, this is a lot of papers and drawing boards and stuff. Uh, some uh, anime, manga, merch, some Japanese volumes and big stuff some origami paper as well not very interesting and this is the japanese shelf okay so all the art books the special uh black lagoon volume special edition and all these again this is packed here and it goes backwards oh man this was such a pain to reorganize every time. That's why you see all the boxes there. So, there's Dragon Ball and some other volumes behind. Okay. Now, let's move to the room where a ton of manga I never covered is. Okay, under this bed, 
I can't show you actually because the lighting is terrible and it's really a pain in the ass to rem to move. There are four huge boxes already filled with manga. Uh, I think about 120 volumes total, maybe more, uh, under this bed. So these four plus these three this makes about 200 and something volumes I never bothered to place anywhere because I literally have no space I have no space I stopped ordering because I mean it was filling it's all it already filled my parents room uh, the four huge boxes. These boxes are a little bit smaller, but they are already occupying more of my room right now. So, again, I just stopped making videos because I wasn't ordering anything. You haven't missed anything, essentially. Like, nothing changed. Because, uh, yeah, if you can't place it anywhere, don't buy it. I think like the logistics of this are pretty awful I mean I I had to throw so many things I mean I think for the better but uh, maybe it's not worth it for you so consider it and before you start buying make space and make more space than what you think is necessary this right here all of this and these and everything here is roughly uh, only 1500 volumes. Uh, yeah, I say only when it's not uh, that uh, small an amount, but imagine if you want only a third of it. Look how much space you need. Only 500 volumes. What's that? Three long shonens plus. Yeah, you know, five long shonens and uh, I don't know, tons of other small manga. Maybe you want some space for your anime and other books. Like, and this is not not a good setup. It's very hard to get to some of these volumes, which actually discouraged me sometimes from reading because it was a pain in the ass to get them. So uh, yeah, this is how I used to have my manga I'm moving very soon I have like I don't even have a place for my figures I have uh, some of the figures here so they don't get very dusty uh, some other merch stuff um, these are volumes uh, I'm selling this is a friend's uh, manga, it's Bizengast, it's an American published manga, but it's in Russian, if you're Russian and you're interested in this, maybe you want it, it's very hard to sell, even for a little bit, uh, this is part of my Rubik's Cube collection, again I had also to sell a ton of Rubik's Cubes, because a, I don't collect them, so I don't care very much, but also, like, I had no space for manga, so I had to make a compromise. Like, these volumes, like, hiding Rubik's Cubes here pretty much saved me a lot of space, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, this is just more paper and drawing materials and stuff. Uh, and this is more merch and chess. Uh, yeah, lots of stuff I'm trying to sell from the loot, anime loot boxes. So, uh, yeah. Do not just buy stuff and then think where to put it. Make sure you have place to put it and plan for more. If you have too much space, you can always take your shelf and uh, until you have more 
you can just display volumes like this or maybe that's not enough let's see yeah I mean this volume takes this much space you can use it to take up this space until you get more manga you can put like I used uh, actually look at this guy this guy used to be here and this manga used to be here so as you can see you can use tons of things to fill up the space you planned for the future until that stuff arrives like, look at this cute little guy uh, and don't get to this position when you want it it's hard to reach when you want to display it you can't and uh, yeah so I'll see you again when I move expect again a new series of videos that I think is will be very very interesting uh, I'll make more shape the collection videos with very interesting titles uh, that mm, many of you probably have never even heard of and uh, and some other projects maybe maybe we'll make some some wrap stuff some of these papers yeah look at this some shitty lyrics anyway uh, yeah so uh, make sure you have place for your manga and I'll see you when I'm at my new place and we'll stack all the manga in my room together. Later.